Hey, Lisa here. We're just walking, taking a nice walk in uh, the woods today out by my house in Rochester Hills. How fun is that, right? So this is the deal. Oh my God, it's so pretty here. It's so gorgeous. I love this area. Um, so basically, what I want to talk to you about today is not just walking in the woods, but walking. Um, what is the most important thing about walking is form. Oh my gosh, look at this. I think we found a little path that I did not notice before. How cute is this? Um, so when you're walking, you've got choices. So there's a lot of different options. Um, it's like a little marsh back there. That's so cute. Um, you can go on flat surface or you can go on uneven surface. So today I'm walking on uneven surfaces. Um, that doesn't always cut it for people. You gotta be mindful of what works for you because um, that makes a big difference. If your body, especially if you have feet problems, if your body does not like that uneven surface or the knees say, eh, no, not good for me, you gotta be leery of that then. So you say to yourself, okay, I'm not gonna go on a sandy beach and walk um, a distance because I'm gonna pay for it later. Um, you gotta build up to that or maybe it's just never gonna be for you, you know? Or you got to think about, you know, the shoes that you're going to wear or, you know, a brace or whatever, you know, talk to your doctor about it and see what, how you can get around it. Or he might go, no, you just stay away from that surface. So um, always be mindful of that. Also, let's start with the feet. So your shoes, your shoes are super important. I love sandals. I'm gonna wrap myself out because I always do. I wear sandals all the time and it's terrible. I'm almost embarrassed when I see a client of mine at the grocery store and I'm in my sandals and I'm always lecturing to them, wear your tennis shoes, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, hmm, what's on your feet, girl? Yeah. So <laughs> make sure you always wear your tennis shoes. That's important because it's supportive of your feet and that goes all the way towards your knees and your hips because everything's connected. So of course it's important. I mean, come on. Um, good tennis shoes that has, a, you know, not tied too tight, but something that has good support and fits your feet good. I stay with the same brand. Like if something feels good on my feet, um, I stay with the same brand. Size up, if you wear real thick socks or you double your socks, then I would size up, you know, make sure you bring your socks with you and you try your shoes on of what you would wear for your walk. Maybe you like a lighter shoe, you know, that's important. You gotta make sure that you're comfortable in your shoes and your socks. So um, think about that. Um, so we got the shoes all figured out. Um, now I'm gonna go back this way because I think I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> and then this video will never get to you. Uh, so, cause I'm really not paying attention to where I'm going. I'm talking to you. Um, so back to the knee brace. Maybe your doctor says when you exercise, you need a knee brace or something of supportive, maybe ankle, depending on where your issues are. Talk to your doctor about that and wear it. Don't go, eh, I'm good. No, if your doctor says wear this knee brace when you're exercising, I know it might be annoying to put it on, but he said that for a reason. Like you went to him for a reason, right? So listen to your doctor. Um, if it doesn't feel right, like let's say it hurts after, tell your doctor. Maybe another knee, he'll recommend something else, like another knee brace, or maybe you're wearing it wrong, or you know, maybe it's the wrong size, but really, be cognizant of what you're doing um, and doing it mindfully and doing it properly and wearing protective gear when you need to. So next, we got the protective gear, we got the good shoes. Now we're gonna talk about form. So as you're walking, your shoulders are back and down. You're always coring up. 
I know. I'm always saying that in my classes. Core up, core up. You're like, she's like a broken record. But when you're walking, guess what? Core up. It's so important. So let's say you're walking in the woods. Nobody's around. You still have to be in good form. Think about it. Shoulders back. Draw the belly button in. Contract the abs. That's not just for exercise. That's protecting your spine. That's protecting, believe it or not, your knees because your core, your pelvis is now in the right you know, position. Which reminds me, pelvis. So a lot of people have different bodies. So some people are like, the, we call it the anterior pelvic tilt, where the bottom of the pelvis comes back and the top of the pelvis goes forward. And you'll see it, they have like an arched back. So I'm gonna try and show it to you. I don't have it, but I'm gonna like pretend that I do. Okay, so this is my neutral spine. If I go like this, that's like really big, you know. That is anterior pelvic tilt. So you see my back, you see how rounded it is? You'll see that in a lot of people. Um, that means that they've got a little bit of an anterior pelvic tilt, which isn't horrible, but it can get where you start feeling it in the spine. Usually L4, L5, um, or SI joint, it becomes a problem. So you wanna make sure that you um, neutral, position your spine. So you're stacking your pelvis. The bottom of the pelvis is below the top of the pelvis and it's nice and even. Check yourself out in the mirror because you're not going to be able to do it. Like I definitely had no idea when I first started and my hip flexors were so tight I couldn't even put my pelvis into neutral. So um, check it out in the mirror Yes, it is physically possible. If you have, if you struggle to get that pelvis even, you just gotta work on it. Yeah, but it's really important. So top of the pelvis and bottom of the pelvis is even. Put your hands on your belly and put your hands on your back. And like, so one hand in front, one hand in back and feel, tip your pelvis. Right now, do it. I'm out here, people probably think I'm crazy. I don't care. Um, so tuck your, the bottom of the pelvis and then straighten out the top of the pelvis until you feel one hand on the front, one hand on the back and feel it actually move. Now arch your back and then try and tip the bottom of the pelvis forward. Your knees will bend. Tip the bottom of the pelvis forward. Let me see if you can see this. So there you go. I got my hand on your belt, my belly. I can't do the back because I'm holding the camera, but that is tipping my pelvis back. This is, if you can see it, tipping my pelvis forward, and this is neutral. See that? You see that, how my knees bend? That's tipping the pelvis. I can feel it. It's not just in the knees. My knees are bending, but it's not in the knees. It's in the pelvis. I'm actually tipping. So if you do like a cat-cow um, in yoga, that's a lot of pelvis. If you're laying on the floor, you bring your knees up and then tip that pelvis up. And then you bring those knees back down, the feet on the floor, and then you flatten out your spine. And then you bring that spine up off the floor into an arch. You're moving that pelvis. That's really good for you. So you can, you can practice on the floor if you can't get it when you're straight, you know, standing. So, oh my gosh, look at this. It's so pretty. I'm in love with this area.
you know, you can practice on the floor or standing, it's up to you. Okay, so now we got, <laughs> I just tripped. <laughs> and I'm talking to you about walking and I can't even walk because I just tripped. <laughs> okay, so um, shoulders, now let's move up. Okay, so, so we, oh, we got the shoulders back and down. Um, open up the chest, north, south, east, and west. You know me, I always say that in my classes. Open up, north, south, east, and west. Um, so now you're in good position, right? Your body's in line. What probably isn't right is your feet. So your feet have to be facing forward, right? So your shoulders are nice, your hips are nice. The feet, the toes have to be pointing forward. I guarantee 90% of you are gonna have your feet out like a duck. You don't wanna be like a duck. So, toes forward, not out. Then that will allow you to go heel, ball, toe, heel, ball, toe, heel, ball, toe, which is what you should be doing. I don't want pump, pump, pump. I want heel, ball, toe, Heel, ball, toe. So why is that so important? Oh my gosh, the knees, the hip, everything. When you flat foot, boom, flat foot, boom, flat foot, boom. Oh, you're putting pressure, it's going all the way up, all the way up to your shoulders, to your neck, to your cervical spine, like it's crazy. So heel, ball, toe, toes not out. Have your you know friend or significant other or whatever, have them walk behind you for a little bit record you or just like tell you how bad of a walker you are because <laughs> I'm sure they'll love to um, and say oh you know your feet are out or, or they might go no you know what you're doing good your feet are right where they're supposed to be I can't see them at all um, then you're good so that's great but toes should be forward not out because um, that transfers to the pelvis and the hips and the knees so Really, I mean, significantly. Um, tightness in the shoulders can literally come all the way down and affect those feet coming out. So stretch, 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 stretch. I have a log here that I'm, can you see the log? Eh, no, maybe not. It's a pink log. I'll show it to you. Look at, that's what I just stepped over. <laughs> at least I saw it. <laughs> Um, okay, so you've got um, your feet now going forward, which is great. Almost tripped again. <laughs> oh, I got myself that time. And you got, um, you know, your positioning of your spine is good. You're in neutral spine. You've got good shoes on. You're really doing great, right? Nice. Okay, find your pace. So what kind of pace do you want? Do you want, you know, are you faster walker? Are you um, slower? Are you long stride? Are you, just be cognizant of what your stride um, is and what you're happy with. Um, I like a longer stride because I got long legs and I walk really fast and that's just what I'm comfortable with. So um, go what feels good for you. And also making sure um, that you pick your surface. Maybe that uneven surface is not for you, bothers your feet. Um, just go walking in your neighborhood. You know, flat surfaces are phenomenal. Uh, it doesn't have to be where you are um, walking in a uh, on a trail. It doesn't matter. Yes. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so, yeah, do you. Go where you feel comfortable. Maybe you find a park that has a lot of benches. So I know Stony Creek is awesome. It's got so many benches. You know, you can go to Stony Creek and just know, okay, you drive by, oh, there's a bench, there's a bench, there's a bench. Okay, I'm just gonna walk this way, get to that third bench and then walk back. You know, plan your route so that you're not, you know, fatiguing your knees or your hips. You don't wanna go too far. You know, my sister has a dog and I keep telling them, Put the dog in a stroller because he's got knee issues and hip issues 
I'm like, take the stroller and then let them out, walk them, and then put them back in the stroller. And she thinks I'm crazy, but I, it's a good idea, right? All right, so you can't put yourself in a stroller, but you can sit and rest. So um, do that, like that's perfect. Um, don't go too far. And when, if you are just starting out for your walks, I mean, down the driveway and back into the house. If you are just starting, that is the perfect to the mailbox and back. Maybe two, ma you know, like down to the mailbox, back, down the mailbox, back. You know, now you're doing two. That would be phenomenal because that's growth. But make sure that it's not to the point where you are um, causing problems to your body. Like that's the goal is happy, happy body. Look at this, I love this. This trail, they do like little, isn't that cute? Oh my God. They're marking it so that you don't trip on it. Cause they know people like me <laughs> aren't gonna trip. I love this, I love this, I love this trail. It's so pretty. Now we're like really high up. And it's so cute. Um, and it, like, nobody is ever out here except me. Um, maybe I scare people away. <laughs> so, um, keeping in mind when you're walking, you're gonna forget, right? You're totally gonna forget all these things, and you're gonna be slouching, your shoulders are gonna be down, they're gonna be, you're gonna be wearing your shoulders and earrings because you're gonna be thinking about the bills you have to do, like, later on and stuff reset be like okay maybe my my voice will be in your head shoulders back and down draw that belly button in open up that chest front and back north south east and west think about the pelvis stack it toes forward I know that's so much oh my god and the most important breathe Breathe, breathe, breathe. So that's kind of important, right? Um, just make sure that you follow all those steps and you will not, um, <laughs> you will not um, have problems or less problems. So that's good. And listen to your body for minimal problems. But I have to show you this because it's hilarious. This would be me. <laughs> this sign is for me. <laughs> Because that is exactly what I would, what I would do, definitely. <laughs> In fact, my husband <laughs> was out here on his bike and he put his helmet on his bike and he went to take a picture of his bike because he loves his bike. It's like, he loves it. And his helmet like dropped down and he jumped. <laughs> he literally jumped and almost fell. Like he didn't jump off here, but he, look at how far down that is. He jumped to there and came back up, but he almost fell all the way down there. Mm, he says I'm klutzy. Our poor kids, <laughs> they don't have a chance. <laughs> so there you go. So that's all my recommendations for making sure that you are, I'm gonna go this way that you are safe when you're walking. Always bring water to stay hydrated. That's super important. Um, making sure that, oh, like I have a backpack. You know, if you wanna bring some things, make sure it's light, like just a water. Um, you know, your phone, if you need help, it's always good to have a phone, but um, a buddy is always good. But I do like backpacks because it distributes the weight. Um, or fanny packs are good. You know, those are the ones that, you know, just felt around you. Those are great. So either way, um, purses, heavy purses are horrible. You know, there's, they do so much damage to your spine. So there you go. And I'm out in the woods. Now I made my way out. So that's good. I'm not stuck in there. I didn't get lost. Woohoo! You guys have a great day. My heart, I can only do half a heart. My heart to your heart. If you don't have sunshine, make your own. Have a great day.